I'm Larry, for those who don't know, and I'm one frustrated Bulldogs fan. Josh Adokar has been stood down. Or, well, the reports are telling us that Josh Adokar has stood himself down. Let's give a little bit of background. Josh Adokar, on Friday evening at around 10.45pm, was pulled over to complete a random drugs test. He tested positive during that test by New South Wales Police, conducted by New South Wales Police. Josh Adokar was then subject to a secondary test, which is standard practice under these sorts of procedures. Josh Adokar was given permission to leave the scene and the following day re reported the incident to Bulldogs head of football general manager, Phil Gould. According to Phil Gould, Josh Adokar had actually informed the Bulldogs that he was in fact pulled over by police, notified them of the incident, however, had had led the club to believe that he had tested negative. We've seen the developments over the last 24 hours. Josh's version of events and the Bulldogs version of events clearly do not converge. And as a result, Josh Adokar in fact tested positive um, in that test and is now subject to second testing. Now, Josh Adokar has since, according to reports, engaged his own doctor, completed a urine test, which has come back negative. However, that is three days after the fact. This is not the distraction that the Bulldogs needed on the eve of their return to the finals after eight years. Let's not also dismiss the fact that the Bulldogs have lost their last two games by record margins relative to the season. The Bulldogs have conceded 34 points and 44 points in the last two respective games. Not ideal form heading into a must-win clash against the Manly Sea Eagles, a side who the Bulldogs have failed to beat on two occasions so far this season. The situation itself is frustrating, no doubt about it. And just purely focusing on Josh Adokar. Now, in the court of public opinion, Josh Adokar is probably guilty. I've seen many Bulldogs fans, I've seen many reports and opinions of, of various accounts and various fans across the league, suggesting that Josh Adokar is already guilty. It is really important and crucial that we don't paint someone as guilty. He deserves his day in court, just like you or me would if we were subject to the same circumstances. At the end of the day, Josh Adokar has done the right thing by not playing. Um, I, I think he's given the Bulldogs, or, or at least relieved the Bulldogs of this situation becoming a prolonged distraction. And I give him some credit for removing himself um, from the, the upcoming game. Gerald Skelton comes in. He'll deputise on the left wing, you would think, uh, with the right side remaining fairly undisrupted. I think the Bulldogs thrive under pressure. I think the Canterbury Bulldogs that I grew up on have always been uh, the side to rise above when pressed against the wall, when they're pushed, when the foot is pressed down on their heads. The Bulldogs are the sort of club that rise under pressure. This is what this is how champions are made. Will you be a diamond in the rough or do you crumble in the dirt? It's not ideal. And if you're asking me, does the Bulldogs strongest lineup have Josh Adokar in it or not in it? I'm going to say Bulldogs strongest lineup is Josh Adokar is, is absolutely lining up on that left wing. But if there is a player that you would take out of the Bulldogs team, it probably is Josh Adokar. He's been fairly injury ravaged this season. Um, I think he's lost the yard of pace, and I don't think that's too harsh of an assessment based on what we've seen so far this season. Um, he's 29 years of age. Whichever way this goes, if, if the drug test does not, and this second drug test, I say, doesn't come back in Josh Adokar's favor, if it doesn't come back negative, I think that might be curtains on his Bulldogs career. He's 21, 29 years of age. Um, he's had a relatively successful stint at the Bulldogs despite failing to make the finals, which is no reflection of him, but rather a reflection of the team. And he was brought in to attract bigger names to the club, which I, I think he absolutely has done. I'm going to stop short of criticizing Josh Adokar or accusing him of being unprofessional. But drug tests are generally objective. It's either in your system or it's not. If he has been subject to a drug test, which has come back positive, positive being drugs were found in his system, then that is, of course, a cause for uh, or a cause for alarm and concern. In saying that, if there is a player you would take out of the team, like I was just saying a moment ago, it is your left winger. 
Brunson Cherry is a substantial inclusion. We we saw defensively, uh, and and again, no criticism on Eli Clark, but there was a lot of pressure on him and Jonathan Sewer to perform against the Cowboys. On the right hand side, again, there was defensive frailties um, due to a range of reasons. But I thought the whole lineup has been struggling with perhaps fatigue, uh, perhaps knowing that the finals are on the on on the on the precipice and having one eye on this week. Nonetheless. I maintain the mantra of the finals is a new NRL competition. The last 27 weeks have come and gone and the Bulldogs have done well to get to where they are. Can the Bulldogs beat Manly Seagulls? Absolutely. Will we beat Manly Seagulls? I'm not going to bet against my club. The Bulldogs I know, as I say, raise above any controversy. They raise above any conviction. They raise above favoritism. That's the Canterbury Bulldogs that I know. Disappointing. Disappointing. Nonetheless, I thought I do want to say I feel Phil Guilds handled the situation really quickly and professionally. I want to give credit to the club uh, for, for from th- all this news broke yesterday morning, so Monday morning, and we're, we're now. It, I'm recording this at five forty-five p.m. Tuesday. The matter has now been closed. If the Bulldogs progress to the grand final, does Josh Adokar make himself available? There's a lot of questions, and I think the answers will come in time. Now, they're saying this drug test, this second drug test, won't be available for anywhere between six weeks and three months. So this has the potential to distract the Bulldogs well into the offseason. Nonetheless, the focus comes back to Sunday. Will the Bulldogs beat Manly? It's not going to be easy. But something in the water, some, something tells me that this might either do one or two things. It might derail the Bulldogs or it might actually push them on to be successful. It might actually spur them on to rise above the criticism, rise above the media speculation and just put the attention back on what we've done on field this season. And I'm going to back him to do it. I'll bring a full preview later in the week, but the summary is disappointed. Josh is disappointed. I'm disappointed for Josh. But full credit to Phil Gould, full credit to um, the, the Bulldogs board, the CEO, for handling the situation quickly, swiftly, and professionally. Jarrell Skelton comes in. Jarrell Skelton is a very capable uh, first grader, strong player, can actually, in fact, strengthen the Bulldogs in terms of his yardage um, coming out of their own end. He's a bigger body, a more physical body, uh, and I think he offers a greater presence than Josh Adokai and actually provides a... An advantage. Perhaps he, he forfeits speed, but he definitely offers something where the Bulldogs struggle, which is the go forward. Nonetheless, those are my thoughts. What do you think? Get your opinion in. Obviously not an ideal preparation for the Bulldogs, but I'll back them to bounce against bounce back rather against Manly and return to the winner's circle and progress to the semifinals. Uh, if you want to interact with me, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Larry Taylor. Get your thoughts in. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and I'm, I'll be bringing you a preview. Uh, to how the Bulldogs will beat Manly. Because I'm, I'm going to bring you a how it will be done. Because uh, I think it'll be lazy just to give you the blue wide view and just say it'll be, it'll happen. Um, there's a few things that the Bulldogs need to do. So a bit of a tactical analysis if you like. But nonetheless, uh, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, let us know your thoughts. Go the dogs.